I got one, I got one! Why did Little Mac give Donkey Kong his Nintendo system after he retired? Oh boy, why? Cause he realized he was an X-Boxer. HA! Get it? X-Boxer? No more talking. The galaxy is full of unanswered questions. None so important as who would win in the fight! Join me, TJ, and me, Dark TJ, as we take you on a quest to discover the power inside Ooh, Amiibo Mimo. and settle in Smash, which Nintendo All-Star reigns supreme. This is Smash Supremacy! Welcome back, Ami Buddies! What's up, Koopa Poopas? It's me, TJ. And me, Dark TJ. Thanks for joining us for episode 2 of Smash Supremacy, and have we got a knockout episode in store for you! Today we test the King of the Ring, Little Mac, against the King of Swing, Donkey Kong. To help us settle this, we've invited a very special guest. A hunter of rare and exotic small plastic toys. We're speaking, of course, of the one and only Amiibo Hunter himself, P2! What is Kragalagan, guys? Super excited to be here, about to turn Super Banana Saiyan, but I'm controlling myself. Welcome to Smash Supremacy, P2. We are pumped you could make it. TJ, thank you for having me here. What about me? Dark TJ, you're freaking me out. You might want to back out a little bit. Thank you. Appreciate that. Excuse me, princess. Before we put these punchers to the test, let's look at the moves and see what separates our super-sized swinging simian from our bite-sized Bronx brawler. When it comes to smashing, DK's got you covered. His wind-up giant punch is not your run-of-the-mill wind-up monkey toy. He can also use that cranial Reggie fils -a brow to bury his opponents in the ground. You promise no more Reggie jokes. My body is ready. In what feels like a huge upgrade from previous incognations of this move, DK has perfected Street Fighter Zangief's double lariat to the point of propelling himself into flight. And finally, this big strong Kong can slap the ground so hard it causes shockwaves. Wouldn't want to play patty cake with that guy. Now let's see the smaller side of Smash. And in this corner, the video game boxing champion of the world, Little Mac! Little Mac leads off with a straight punch that when fully charged really packs a wallop. Mac's haymaker not only puts out your lights, but he dodges attacks on the way in. And throws himself off a ledge half the time. Up next is Mac's rising uppercut. Remember back when you had to store up stars and press start to use that move? And finally, Little Mac sports a sweet slip counter where he dodges an attack and follows up with a devastating uppercut. A, a devastating uppercut. Yeah, real effective. I almost just wet my pants there. I guess it really only works when you time it with an attack. Well, boys, no need to debate this one. Donkey Kong is all business. You can tell by his tie. That grappling gorilla is gonna put Mac down for the count. I'm not so sure about that, DT. Little Mac's unique brand of compact power might be enough to make a monkey out of DK. How do you call it, P2? Well, TJ, let me tell you something. Little Mac was trained by none other than Rocky Balboa, so we definitely know that since he's not fighting Apollo Creed, that that monkey, Donkey Kong, is gonna go down. You just want DK out of the way so you can go all King K. Rule, swipe his banana collection, and turn Super Banana Saiyan 4. You got this, Little Mac. You got this! Let's power up the amiibo. <laughs> Let's get to it. <laughs>
all yours, Mac. Little Mac. Out of 50 matches, the Little Mac Amiibo outpunched DK a lopsided 41 times. But to DK's credit, the final outcome doesn't reflect how close many of those fights actually were. Don't make excuses for him. His body was not ready. That's another point for me, TJ. I'm just letting you build a little lead so it'll be more satisfying when I take you down. The viewers were evenly split this time, with half of you predicting a DKW, and the other half supporting the winner and still undisputed video game champion of the world, Little Mac! It's definitely time to retire, DK. Huge thanks to our special guest, P2. Where can all the fellow Amiibo hunters at home go to see more of you? Well, TA, they can find me at P2Vision. Literally, just type in P2Vision on Google and everything will pop up. My YouTube, my Twitter, my Snapchat, my Instagram, and whatever else I'm in, it's definitely going to be there. So, that's where you can find me. P2 is a leading force in the hunt for Amiibo. He chronicles all his hilarious adventures. We really love keeping up with him, and you can too by following him everywhere at P2Vision. Well, we gots to have so many different social media hubs. I'm thinking we should start combining, like Facebook and Twitter can fuse into TwitFace. <laughs> well, TJ, thank you for having me here today. Let me tell you something, this was awesome, so I appreciate it. One thing, though, that gray guy next to me, Dark TJ, really freaks me out, so next time I hope he's not here because <laughs> he's kind of freaky. Sorry to offend your eyes, Sunshine State. Not all of us get to sunbathe while waiting in line for Amiibo retail exclusives. Dark side forever! Other than that, man, thank you so much for having me here. This was fun, and now I gotta go fly out and turn Banana State in somewhere else, okay? I knew it! It's a banana conspiracy. I need some amiibo to hunt. Good luck. Hope to see you back soon. Later. Now it's time to announce the winners of the first Smash Supremacy amiibo giveaway. Let's start with Luigi. And the winner of Green Mario is Writer's Blob. And the Mario amiibo goes to Seth Simpson. Thanks to everyone who subscribed and joined the battle. Congratulations to our winners, and make sure you PM us with your shipping details here or on Twitter. Don't worry if you didn't win this time, we've got even more Amiibo giveaways planned for the future. Yeah, they're really raring to go. So put down the GameStop in for a visit and target that subscribe button. More giveaway details in the coming weeks, so make sure you don't miss a single episode. Combat comment of the week time! This week's comment comes from Justin Jones. He says, I would love Luigi. He is just as awkward as I am, although I don't belly flop on the ground like he does. Wonder if he makes pistols with his fingers and says, Bang, bang. No, but he has been known to cast a Luigi stare when necessary. Thanks for the comment, Justin. If you want us to feature your comment or question in the next episode, leave us a good one. And don't forget to make your prediction on who you think will win in next week's matchup. Marth versus Lucina. See you next time, and thanks for playing. Dark Side out. I have to admit, this is a tough one. Does it really matter which sister wins? W what? They're not sisters. One of them is a guy. Really? Uh, um, which one? Marth. Okay. Let me get this straight. Her name is Martha, and she's wearing a headband. But it's actually a dude. Y yeah. I don't believe you. At least I think it is. Have we even played Fire Emblem? Well, no, but we played Marth going all the way back to Melee. And I always thought we were playing as a chick! Now I'm confused. Maybe some of our viewer friends can help clear this up. They can't, because they clicked on one of those spinning ladies a long time ago. Or at least they better have. You're probably right. Guess we'll have to wait until next week. <laughs>